Hey guys, it's Ruby Phoenix with the Triple Crown, and today we're going to be exploring the mini game Meadowcroft Farm. I'm going to show you how to get the most meadow dollars in a short amount of time. Okay, so basically, Meadowcroft Farm is very straightforward. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some money. I'm assuming that you don't start with any money, so go into this little house. I think this is your house. And there's some coins laying on the ground. You only need 25 coins to start. And there's some over here by where you first come in. And there's some on the other, uh, to the left of the fields. You can, get, you can see it over there. There's like a little pile of coins. And I believe these little pile of coins are about five coins a piece. And you only need 25, but I'm going to go ahead and get a few more just so that I can show you where they are. And that's basically where you're going to start. Like I said, this is not how to play the entire game. I'm not going to explore buying cows or fishing or anything like that. This is strictly how to get the most amount of points very quickly, which if you get bored with farming, you could buy a cow. But anyway, you go talk to Mayor Sam and he says that this beautiful town with all these people in it only needs 500 bucks to survive. So this is going to be really straightforward. But you've got your 25 coins or more, so you're going to go buy one blue flower. That's all you need. You don't need to go crazy with this one. And you're going to plant it. You're going to plant this one blue flower. This one plant will give you three flowers. Uh, real quick, I do want to point out my favorite aspect of this game is something that I've actually written into Foxy Ventures about, is that I wish in the main game that you could go into wild mode and still do all of the things that you can do when you're not in wild mode. Like, it would be so cool if you could go into wild mode and you could still mine or you could still train pets or tame horses. So this game allows you to be in wild mode the entire time, which is so much fun. I, I just love it. So anyway, you get your, you get your three blue flowers, you're gonna plant them. So you basically get the gist of it. Uh, you do not need to plant any more than three or four times. And because basically all you're doing is you want to get enough coins to get sunflower seeds. So you're going to get enough coins to get sunflower seeds. And then you're going to basically do the same thing. And you're just going to spam mine sunflower <laughs> seeds. But like I said, it's... My favorite feature of this game is that you can do everything in this game in wild mode, which is something that, like I said, I have actually petitioned to Foxy to change. How great would it be to be able to play the entire main game in wild mode? But like I said, you only need to farm that one row and then you've got enough for a sunflower. Now, the blue flowers will give you three Meadowcroft dollars a piece but sunflowers will give you five. So whenever you farm a plot of blue flowers, you get nine points. When you plant or you farm a plot of sunflowers, you get 10. So if you do want to switch it up just to have different looking flowers, you totally could and just buy the, green, the blue flowers. But you want the most amount of meadow dollars and you want the most amount of gold. So I highly suggest that you just stick with sunflowers. We're just playing at this point. I mean, I'm just waiting. So, <clears throat> one thing I am going to do right now is I'm going to speed it up because basically you get it. So, you farm two sunflowers and you plant two sunflowers. And you just keep doing that until your whole field is nothing but sunflowers. And then basically you're just going to kind of run around and keep picking them over and over and over again. So I'm gonna pause this so that I can get a sip of tea and we're gonna speed this up a little bit and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do when you get a, a considerable amount of sunflowers. And you will see this, uh, this count, the meadow dollars, you will see it go up fairly quickly. Like I said, this is probably the fastest way to get meadow crop dollars. And you can accrue a lot of them very, very quickly. And as you can see from the way that this game is playing, this is completely different from Go Jump and Danger Maze. This is a much more relaxed kind of game for those of us who like to mine or just do dressage all day, who don't really care about RPing or anything like that. 
for those of you who really do just kind of like to listen to music or watch YouTube or something like that and just play a game in the background, this is a game for you. And this week's horse is the Royal Frisian, which is just beautiful. Right now I'm chest level seven, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping to get the Royal Frisian. I'm super stoked that I got the Banshee Frisian. I think it's probably my second favorite horse. North will always be my favorite horse. But we're going to speed this up because you basically get it. I mean, just seeing what I'm doing. And you see already that I've got 154 points, 164 points when I started with less than 20,000. So it's going up fairly quickly. But this does take a while. Okay, so now that we sped that up and we farmed uh, roughly 103 sunflowers, I'm gonna go ahead and sell them just so that you get a good idea of how much gold you acquire and how many points we've gotten at this point. I believe it says that we have gotten little over a thousand, almost 1200 points since we first started farming. So you can pick these, they're just gonna be sold. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick all of them. So you do about a hundred. I like to do little batches at a time, especially since like little batches of a hundred sunflowers or so at a time, especially since we've had the update and you never really know if your game is gonna crash or if this is just not gonna go through. This last update is probably the worst update I've ever seen. I've been playing this game since it came out in roughly August or summer of 2019. I've been playing for a long time. I've gone through a lot of updates. This is by far the worst one. I've never seen so many people affected by an update. Yeah, guys, so just be mindful. This update is really hitting everybody pretty hard. But anyway, you're going to take the money that you earn and you're going to go over here to Witch Wanda and you're going to buy potions at $500 uh, a piece or 500 gold a piece. And each potion is going to give you 20 points a piece. And these potions are pretty cool. They're going to turn you different colors. They're going to speed you up. They're going to slow you down. They're going to make you big. They're going to make you small. So it's another fun thing to do in wild mode since it's pretty cool to ride a tiny little horse around. I don't know. I just think it's fun. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the big secret. So you can get about 1,200 points mining and then you can get about another 200 uh, just buying potions. And that's just a little bit of a time if you got 15 minutes or so extra during the day you can easily get about 1500 to close to i don't know about 1600 points at the most before you know so if you got 15 extra minutes i would say go ahead and throw them into metalcroft um metalcroft farms it's worth it i mean the chest 
Yes, a level seven chest. The level seven chest. Uh, not the level seven chest, but the chest this week is for the noble Frisian, which is just beautiful. But right now I'm just farming a few extra sunflowers. I'm going to go ahead and end the game and by uh, giving the mayor his 500 gold coins, you save the or you save the town. So that's basically what I'm going to go ahead and do and wrap this up. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I know as far as my club goes and playing the game for me, these last two weeks since the update have just been horrible. And I know that I keep going back over how horrible the update is, but it's really, really, really bad. If you have a club or if you have people who are in your club, not, there's a really, really good chance that those people are having a very difficult time playing the main game at all. It seems that from what I've seen on social media that the mini games are okay. They're not glitching as bad, but the main game is still uh, glitching and reconnecting to the point where people who've been playing the game literally for years cannot play. So I say if you have a club or but basically if you have a club, I would relax your point requirement this week. This last week has been really rough on everybody. But here's our chances. I got a ch uh, the level seven chest. I'll let you guys know what I get on Sunday. And once again, thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, please click like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. See you next time. We're going to do Go Jump. Thanks for watching.